people sometimes don't feel true empathy for the victims of disaster because they think that they are simply a victim of where they live. Basically, there's a, an unequal distribution of risk. We look at the presidents of the countries, the mayors of the cities, they're still saying natural disasters. We just, we're not taking responsibility by saying natural disasters over and over and over again. It is their local conditions that in effect determine whether an event is a disaster or not. We have to take into account the historical context of each society and ask ourselves, why are people at risk? But I think that we are actually spending more money on constructing risk than we are on reducing risk. It is the growth engine. Consumerism for those who have the means to consume with greed on the part of the 1%. That development engine is driving us right off the edge. People are not thinking enough about the implications of the policies that they're coming up with. We will invest a great amount of money, a great amount of effort into something that will help us, but will completely destroy future generations. Hacen falta escuelas, hacen falta calles. There's lots of things that come together to shape how we see the world, which doesn't include empathy with people who are not like us. That's really the big question mark. Whether we become a civilization that takes care of each other. We're all going down or up together. We should be practitioners of justice and hope and light. The fundamental premise is that you can't solve a problem unless you know what causes it. You know, I often will say it's a creation of the nation state is the worst thing that ever happened to humanity. Inequalities are becoming more extreme. In times of climate change, we're going to see an increase of displacement. One of the best tools that we have is where we put our money. We were amazed of how the people got involved and supported the actions. My goal is not to see the people on the stage, but the people that are on the streets. Yes, the end is near, but also the beginning is near. Disasters can be combated by looking at some of the reasons why people are vulnerable. I think the best approach we can take is a moral approach. You can treat symptoms, but the phenomenon will continue recurring if you don't treat causes. And we realize that no disaster is natural. Mm -hmm.